What's up, YouTube? Sound Ride 705 here. Well, guys, I uh, I haven't made a video in a few weeks, and um, I kind of feel bad. I uh, not that I'm giving up on you guys, or not that I'm giving up on the channel or anything. I uh, was crazy, crazy busy the past few weeks at work, just kind of burnt out. Um, been under a lot, a lot of stress, and uh, came out a few weekends. It was kind of rainy and crappy. So to go out and do a video in that kind of weather, I just uh, I just didn't. But today is the, uh, I don't know, what month are we in? We're not in August anymore. September. September long weekend. I think they still call it the August long weekend. I don't fucking know. Anyways, it is the long weekend and uh, it's 27 degrees. It's beautiful out here. We are in, um, I believe they call this South Croker which is right across from the Benjamin Islands, which is where I did a video last time. Uh, I did a review of my kicker system and a little tour of the Benjis. Um, yesterday, uh, up on that rock up there, I don't know if you guys can see that, probably not. There was about 40 or 50 people and um, they did a uh, chicken wing roast and corn roast. So there's still a few boats left over. There's, uh, I don't know, 10 boats in that bay and we're another four boats over there where we are and then there's a whole bunch of boats over at the Benjamin Islands. So that was a great time. And uh, it's been pretty calm this weekend. Like this is w open water right now for us and uh, we've got about a foot chop at the most. Which the sea dude just loves. Like uh, this thing like, this thing, thing took like a foot wave like nothing. It's actually uh, pretty decent. Oh, there's some bigger waves here. Nothing too crazy. I guess I'll take these guys into the Benjamins and uh, take a look. Oh, look at that, there's a big boat coming across. Uh, maybe. Maybe a big boat, maybe a small boat. Woohoo! This thing is so peppy. You just like, if you just wait to the bottom of a wave and then you just give it a shot, it like choo, launches. <laughs> like that. Wee oh, that's my buddy Luke coming across in his 32-foot uh, bay liner. They had a whole bunch of company aboard, so they're headed back to uh, to the marina. They're not staying the night. It is Sunday night, so or Sunday today. Well, Sunday afternoon, whatever. And uh, long weekend's over Monday, so tomorrow we'll head back and back to work Tuesday. I've been doing this prototype job at the shop, and uh, it's crazy. Like 14 parts I have to draft and actually uh, create and the, there's a deadline on it the guy's in a rush for it but it's, it's only so fast you can do it I've been working nights and programming at home when I'm at home and it's been a that said it's been a stressful past couple weeks and uh, you know life on top of that there's it's not just my my shop that's the only thing in my my world that's paying the ass that's a pretty cool boat it's an older boat it's a 96 I believe um, Twin 5.7s, out drives on that one. But uh, really nice layout. Yeehaw. Um, let's go up in here. We just hiked across this island uh, a while ago. We went up on the smooth rocks and walked right across. There is somewhat of a trail, not much of a trail, and uh, the other end it comes out to sort of like a little cliff where you can't go down. Had a little picnic, and that's it. Came back, kids went swimming. Gotta watch for rocks here, lots of rocks. I can't really see much. I don't have polarized lenses on my helmet. I keep getting people asking me the same question. Why do you wear your helmet when you see doing? Eh. <laughs> And the same answer. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, it's because I'm going to have people asking me, how come you have a helmet on? It's because I have my Sina Audio, which is a communicator system that's set up for um, motorcycles use it, snowmobiles use it. And I have that hooked up to a wireless Sina pack that wirelessly transmits my voice to my GoPro. So my GoPro is completely waterproof right now in the case. I can submerge it and it's not going to fry. And... Um, that way I don't get the wind from from the actual sea dew because if not you wouldn't be able to hear me talk right now it'd be all so anyways uh that's why I wear a helmet 
I feel like kind of like an idiot because everybody looks at you like, why the fuck's that guy have a helmet on? And why is he talking to himself? But uh, I don't really care. I don't care what other people think. So that's why I have my helmet on. But here's a cool little spot where people actually go in here and they mourn. And it goes slow so I don't wake them here. <laughs> yeah, I feel dumb. That's okay. <laughs> the camera. <laughs> Carver Riviera. Oh, waves are getting bigger here. This is kind of an opening here. Like we're sort of in a channel, the North Channel they call it. And that's an opening there that goes towards Gore Bay, um, Mackinac Island. That, that would be the way you'd hit that way. To go to Lake Michigan, all that kind of stuff. So it's a, it, we've got miles and miles and miles of open water there. We just don't have much wind today, so it's not too, too rough. Oh, I don't know if I just wet my GoPro there. One thing about the GoPro lens is it actually wipes really good with your fingers. I've had good luck with that. You'd think it would just smear, but uh, I don't know. It's pretty decent. Oh, there's a nice little beach there. I had some buddies that parked in there a couple weekends ago, and they were like, oh, man, you got to check it out. It's an awesome beach. Yeah, it does look nice. Where the beach we're at right now is all pink because it's all pink quartz here. And, uh, you know, the rock is what makes the sand, obviously. It's all ground up over, over time. And uh, yeah, so it's like a really cool pink color. There's a little bit of white quartz here and then most of it's pink. You can see that's white quartz and that's all pink. But most of that island is all pink quartz. Well guys, um, winter time's coming up and I just want to let you guys know what's gonna go on. Um, I have a snowmobile. I don't know if most of you guys, where you're from, if you've even, ever even seen a snowmobile. But uh, I got a pretty wicked sled. It's um, MXZ. Um, 800 RX package. It's uh, 160 horsepower. I put a uh, 600 RS racetrack on it, so it's got about an inch and three quarter lug with uh, two inch studs that are like double backed. And uh, I geared it down this year. Like it, it's gonna haul some fucking ass. So that's what I'm gonna do a little bit of blogging on this winter. And hopefully these guys are interested in watching that also. I know. Everybody loves the Sea-Doo Spark videos and nobody seems to watch any of the other videos that I put up. So kind of gave up on putting motorcycle videos up and it, it kind of sucks because I wish these guys would watch everything I do. But I think these guys like the Sea-Doo Spark more than you like me. That's the problem. I'm, my feelings are pretty hurt. I'm pretty hurt. <laughs> no, it's all good. Whatever, y'all. Whatever. I'm at uh, 2,500 subscribers the last time I checked. That's pretty sick. I so struggled to get to my first 100. It was crazy. And uh, then uh, the first thousand came pretty okay, and I, to, and I went up to two thousand right away. Like it only took a couple more weeks, so I was up to two thousand. So pretty, uh, it went pretty quick after that. That's what they say. After you hit ten thousand subs, then it climbs really quick. So I think what happens is that Google kind of throws you up on the search engines. The more people watch your videos, and then they assume that your shit's good, and then they just bump it up on all the searches. So. You get uh, suggested more than all the newbies. Uh, wait, my video. Uh, ah, there we go. And there we go. And there we go. Oh, dude. Rough. Rough. To rough go. Getting low on gas on this thing. I didn't bring any spare gas with me either. We are about, uh, well. 30 miles from our marina right now, so it takes us about an hour to get here. And I got enough fuel to get back. Holy shit. Oh, dude. What the fuck? Okay, look at that giant spider, and then look at that weird-ass bug. Oh, that's so gross. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that thing. I don't even know what the fuck that thing is. I gotta flick that thing with something. First, I'm gonna squish this spider. Hope you duck lovers don't get upset that I'm squishing a spider too. Oh, dead. And I gotta check out that fucking weird looking beetly bug thing. What is that thing? 
It's so gross. Look at that thing. Oh, I think that's one of those wood beetle things. Oh, flick that fucker out. Huh. <laughs> oh, gross. Gross. All right. Ready? He's going to go for a rip. Huh. Later. That was disgusting, yo. What the hell? Oh, by the way, I'm saying yo every two seconds because I've been watching Breaking Bad again and, uh, you know, Jesse Pinkman and all. What's up, yo? So, for the next month or so, I'm going to be saying yo every second word. It's just going to happen. You're going to have to deal with it. So, this is a Benjamin Islands. This would be the North Benjis, they call them. North Benjis and South Benjis aren't very far apart, but they have this whole North and South. Nor uh, South Benjis would have been with that little channel we went through, and this is the North Benjis. And then Croker, where we're at, is right across over there. So we'll just shoot across there after to get there. I'm probably going to have cut most of the video coming across anyways to not bore you guys to death, but... I was on a topic and I can't remember what it was. Hmm. Subscribers? Yes. See do? Yep. I don't know. Whatever. I don't even know when I'm going to get time to post this. Maybe I'll get it done tomorrow night. I don't know. We'll see. I might go to the shop and work is what I should do. Are we going to get some flack from the sailboaters here for making waves? Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking about. My freaking 60 to 90 comparison video. I got so much flack about the ducks. It's unbelievable. Like seriously guys, like I didn't run over the ducks. I didn't kill the ducks. I went around in a circle. Were they scared? Yeah, they're scared. They're animals. So when you drive down the road and there's fucking some bird on the side of the road, do you stop your car and not scare them? You know, you keep driving. Who fucking cares? Every time we drive with our boats out here, there's birds all over the place. Canada geese, they fly out of the way, seagulls, comrades. I mean, we are in the north. There's birds and animals all over the place. Like, I don't know. I, I always think it a little bit extreme. It's a good thing my YouTube channel is not about duck hunting. Sitting there in a blind fucking kaboom, ducks! You know, everybody will love that because I was duck hunting, but the second you drive by one and the sea do and it fucking freaks out a little bit. Oh no, oh no, you fucked with the ducks there, guy. Like, come on. If it would have been a flock of seagulls, nobody would have said shit. But because it was a cute little duck, all of a sudden, oh, it's got more more value than a seagull or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. Bunch of crybabies. I don't really give a shit. I just delete your post because I don't let people put negative shit on my channel. Because it's a happy channel. Super happy! Oh, it is nice out here. So nice. I usually rock my tunes when I'm riding my Sea-Doo. These guys never hear that because... There's a little issue with rocking tunes. Um, YouTube doesn't like it whatsoever. They assume that you're pirating music if it's playing in the background. I guess they have some sort of like a Shazam type software that listens to your video and if it hears you playing music clips, then it assumes that you're stealing those music clips. So that's why you never ever hear any music on my channel from my speakers or from my boat speakers or anything like that. But yes, normally I'd be rocking some tunes right now. Sailboat. Rough life, man. Five miles an hour if you're lucky everywhere you go. Oh, oh, I couldn't do it. I tried going slow with my boat, and it is torturous. Torturous. Just saying. They say you got to love the journey. you got to love the driving and getting there. I don't know. I don't know if I like holding on to a steering wheel for five, six hours out of the weekend. And then five, six hours on the way back home. It's, it's, it's pretty wild. Not for me. Each to his own, I guess. Each to his own. A lot of people have them, so they must uh, must appeal to some people, that's for sure. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all that shit. And on that note, I got five. Peace.